to welcome speech to the Prime Minister of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, His Excellency Mr. Imran Khan. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mr. Prime Minister, business community of Uzbekistan, uh, my huge delegation from Pakistan of our top business houses, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me first say that this is personally a, big, a great pleasure for me to visit uh, Uzbekistan country which uh, we are connected, we in Pakistan are connected culturally, historically, and spiritually. The connections between us and uh, people of Uzbekistan go for centuries back. And so for me, who's a student of history, I find that um, finally, after so many years, I have I've been, um, I've been graciously welcomed uh, to, to this country. And um, I want to assure the business community of Uzbekistan and you, Mr. Prime Minister, that this relationship is just the beginning. We hope that this re relationship will grow. And I can tell you the enthusiasm in Pakistan for this trip, that when I was boarding the plane this morning, on my mobile phone I had complaints from business houses who were not invited or who, who, who haven't come here. There was so much interest in uh, people wanting to come here. Um, our business relationship, our trade relationship, is going to depend upon how quickly we connect with each other physically. The Trans-Afghan uh, Railway is the most important uh, project for Uzbekistan and Pakistan. Uzbekistan, it connects to a population of 220 million Pakistanis. And then through our seaports, it connects you to Africa, Middle East, uh, opens up a whole lot of uh, markets for you. For Pakistan, it connects us to Central Asia, to Uzbekistan, which is the biggest of the Central Asian republics. And it connects us to the rest of uh, Central Asia and beyond. And therefore, I just need one little comment that we are all very anxious. I know was uh, the president and uh, I know from my conversations with the president last time, the president is very keen. We in Pakistan are extremely keen that there is peace in Afghanistan. And we are all hoping for a political settlement taking place in Afghanistan so that our connectivity through Afghanistan uh, for both the countries would be mutually beneficial for, for all of us, for the business community. It will raise the standard of living of both the countries. I, as a student, was in, um, in England when the European Union came into, uh, was formed, the European Union. And we saw that the standard of living of all the countries went up who became part of the European Union. The moment trade with the neighbors increased, standard of living went up. So this is why uh, this trip is very important for us, because we hope that, that the connections which our business community will make with the, your business community here in Uzbekistan, we hope that this, these connections will grow. I already found out that some of uh, uh, our business houses had already made big uh, contacts yesterday with, um, with, the, with especially the textile sector. And so we're all hoping that this trip, by the time we go back, the connections will, uh, will, uh, will get deeper. The air connectivity will improve. We, are, we in Pakistan are ensuring that we will have more frequent flights between the two countries. And as I say, that the, we're all hoping that things in Afghanistan will improve 
so that this very ambitious program of rail connectivity, the Trans-Afghan uh, uh, Pakistan-Uzbekistan Railway, we hope that this huge project will, uh, will come into being. Uh, finally, I would like to say <clears throat> that my, uh, my great reason for coming here was, and I'm looking forward to my trip to Bukhara and Samarkand. As I said, I'm a <clears throat> I'm a student of history, so I have uh, I know uh, probably more uh, history of Uzbekistan than most people in Uzbekistan, and and therefore I'm really looking forward to my trip uh, tomorrow to Samarkand and, and Bukhara. Thank you very much.